yo yo and welcome to another edition of Little Bro Vapes All. What can I say? Thank you very much to all my new subscribers and the old ones. All what's Little Bro been vaping on today? We are on the Vape Soul. I don't know. I have to keep doing that every time I say it. It's the Vape Soul V1 kit, and it comes with the V1 tank as well, which is a little bit different. It's got a nice safety mechanism on it, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But the biggest thing that we're going to talk about straight away is the Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth. So what you can do is, you can either find your mod if you lose it, or you can find your phone. Now let's talk about this in depth, because the people um, who are on the iPhone have been able to find the app a lot easier, and also, when you've got the app downloaded, they're finding the device a bit easier. So let's talk about that. Now what you've got is, on the side of your, your box, you've got QR codes. Um, now if you haven't got a QR reader, you can find that on Play Store or also iTunes or iStore, whichever it is. And what you do is you download that and you just hover it over the top of it and it'll find the app for you. And the app's called It's Warner. Now it, it is called It's Warner to me. It might be called something else as it looks. But I'm going to call it It's Warner. So once you've found the app, you press your app. Um, it then comes up with um, Enable Bluetooth. Obviously, you enable Bluetooth and you want to bind devices. Now, once you've got it open, and now for the Android people, there's if you're going to obviously first of all find it on Bluetooth yourself. Now, the code for it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight when you're binding it to your phone. Now, if you're finding it hard for it to actually find the device when you're in the app, then what you need to do is you need to go into your settings, go to your apps, find the app itself, which is I'm calling it Swana. You then enable it to find Bluetooth. It's in the security sort of side of it, so you enable it to find Bluetooth. Give it all the permission to find Bluetooth and pair with other devices. Then go back to your app and you shouldn't have any problem. So remember that when you're pairing it to your actual phone, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if you're finding it hard to actually pair with the device itself, then what you need to do is you go into your settings, down to your apps, and then enable the security so that it, it can um, enable Bluetooth and it can also connect with other devices. That's a little bit over. So let's get into the app itself. So like I said, when you turn the app on, it does ask you to turn on Bluetooth. Um, it then does say buy new device, you press buy new device and then there'll be a list and it comes up it's one and you press that and you're ready to go. It will tell you in the top left that Bluetooth is enabled and the top right it'll tell you that you're connected to it's one. Then you'll see like a phone and it goes to like a little hub, there's a little line going up there. Then what you do is to find your, um, your mod, what you do is you press find. And it works. It finds your mod. And then you can press stop find. And then it stops. Now the other thing that you do is, if you hold the plus and the minus together, like that, it'll go into another menu, which uh, has power, which we'll go into what all the ones that are on there. It gives you power, stainless steel, your DIY. And then it says, find my phone. You press find my phone, and it says find. And if I press find, it should. Find my phone. And then obviously once you've found your phone, you press the top bit, and it turns it off. And that's how simple it is. Like I said, it has been a little bit hard for Android people. I know iPhones have been uh, okay, but I do know that the people at Vape Soul have updated the app. Um, so it should be a little bit easier for you. Um, I hope that clears up little bits on the, the Bluetooth, because you want to use that. I, it's, it's took me a couple of days to get that sorted, but I've finally worked it out. Well, I'll tell you what, we've talked a lot about how the Bluetooth works and the, what the tank's going to be like. Let's go down and do an unboxing and uh, let's see what we got with it. So, the Vapesol V1 kit. Let's have a little look at the front. It tells you that it's Vapesol. You've got a picture of your mod and also your tank. It tells you that it does use Bluetooth. It tells you again it's the V1 kit at 230 watts. Um, and that's basically the front. And then if we have a little look round the back... As you can see, it tells you that the kit includes your mod, uh, stainless steel, top filling tank, an extra curl, USB cable, manuals and spare parts. It gives you an introduction, again telling you it's got anti-loss function, all these little bits and bobs. It tells you all of it there. And it gives you a legal disclaimer that underage sales are prohibited. 
can't even believe I got prohibited out. And then on the side, it has got your QR codes. Um, once again, you can download one of the readers off of either iStore or um, iPlay or Google Play, whatever it is. I've got it mixed up. Um, and then if you look at the side, it tells you that it's the Von kit, the 230 watts. And it has a warning not to be sold to anybody under the age of the smoking age. And it has a little bit of a thing that you slide out like that. And you have the box inside. There we go. And then if we give it a little bit of an open, you'll be able to see on this side, it has got your manuals in it and your USB charger. And then this side, if we open it up, just slightly, there we go. You'll see that's where your mod would have been. And this side um, would have been where your tank is. And then you've got all your goodies, the extra goodies that you get. Let's talk about the extra goodies that you get. Now, first of all, uh, let's go into about the manuals. I think this is really good. You don't get this very often. Battery safety. There we go. I think that's really good. They've, they've put something in there about don't use broken insulated skin batteries. I think it's really good. You don't get many of that. You then get your Vapesol V1 kit user manual. Make sure you read it. It tells you everything about your mod, and it also tells you how to fill your tank, etc., etc. So make sure you read it. You also get your warranty card in there. There we go. And the goodies you get, you get your spare tank and your spare O-rings together, there we go, you get your USB charger, which is a, quite like a, not one of them little bend, it's a nice little cable one, I like that, and you get your spare coil, we'll talk about these coils a little bit later on, there's something quite interesting that you can use with these, but um, we'll talk about these coils a little bit later on, they're 0.15 ohms. So that's the unboxing really, so I'll tell you what, let's start off with a tank and let's go and have a look so at it. So the Vapesol V1 tank, it's not a bad looking thing, I quite like it. It's got a Vapesol written on that side and then V1 round the other side. You've got an Altum drip tip on the top there and it's got a total different locking mechanism. Now sometimes you get the ones from Smock where you just pull it around, it's on a hinge and then it locks back in. Or sometimes you get the ones where you can just push up or you've got like the ones that are like a pill, you know, where you can't get in. Like like your safety caps for your children, you have to push it down, a lot of messing around. This one's a little bit easier. What you've got is, is you've got a pin on either side. So you push the pit, two pins together at the same time and it pops up. Push it around and there's where your filling port is. Quite a big filling port as well. Once you've filled it, you screw it back around. Make sure you've got it lined up um, and then just push it in. And it's that simple. You're ready to go. It's a 2.5mm um, capacity tank. It looks a little bit more to me, but they're saying it's a 2.5mm. Let's have a talk about the airflow. Again, it's a simple airflow. It can be a noisy tank because you can see the bottom of the coil. So as you're pulling it through, it gives you like a bit of a whistle to it as, you, as you're pulling it through. Um, now I have the airflow wide open. Now, if we just have a little look, it's a simple mechanism. It's got a stopper, you just push it around to where you want it. So, and it has got a stopper. The tank itself is a really well-made tank. Um, it feels feels well-made. So let's have a little look at the coil. We'll unscrew it. Here's a quad coil. There we go. Now, if you've had enough of these coils, you don't quite like them. It does fit baby beast coils in them. So it gives you a little bit more of an option. This is a 0.15 ohm coil. Obviously, you can get different ones in the baby beasts. So if you don't like the flavour or you want to change your homage, you can use the Baby Beast in them. Also, when you are filling this tank up, make sure you prime your coil. Just put some juice all the way around the slits on it. Um, as you can see, there's the top bit for it. You put it on top of your coil like that. Screw it in. There we go. Fill it up. Leave it 15 minutes and you're ready to go. So let's just have a little look at the bottom. As you can see, it says it's designed by Vaporsoul and, and assembled in China. It has got a slight protruding um, 510 on it, um, and that's about it for the tank. So I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the mod. So the Vape Soul V1 mod itself is five clicks on. There we go, and it's got a really nice big HD screen on it. There we go, if we just turn it around as well, it does say Vape Soul. And then on the side, as you can see, there's some grooves in the stainless steel. I'm going to call it for grippage. That's why I'm going to say it's for grippage. And then at the bottom there, you can see there's venting for your batteries as well. If we turn it around, you can see that you've got your plus and minus to get you up and down your menus. You've also got your USB charger. And then at the top, you've got your button, which is like it's hardened plastic. Nice and clicky. And then you've got 
if you look at the top, V1 and your 510. Now if you click it three times, it goes on to its menu, which is quite simple, self-explanatory. Um, it's working time, then it goes on to out, working time, screen turn dark, screen turn off, screen brightness, and then it tells you software version, upgrade, and then back. So that's quite self-explanatory self really. And then if you hold the plus and minus together, you come to another menu, it does tell you power, NI, uh, titanium, stainless steel, DIY 1 and DIY 2, and then it also has find your phone. And there we go. So if we just go back to power, there we go, and we're out of it. So let's have a little look at your screen. Um, as you can see, it says vapor solar, and then you've got your two batteries. It tells you what your wattage is, it tells you that you're in power mode, then it tells you what your um, ohms are. At the minute we're at uh, 0.15 ohms and your voltage. Now if you hold the plus and the fire button together, that then locks it. And then vice versa, if you hold it together, it'll unlock it. Now at the bottom you can see where your batteries go. It's for your 18650s, there's two of them in there. Uh, as you can see your battery cover. And that's roughly your mod. It is stainless steel, like I said, and it's got yeah, a bit of plastic around the, the, the screen and around the actual vape sole. And the button, like I said, lovely and clicky. So I'll tell you what, let's go and do the pros and cons and the things that I've missed. So the pros and the cons and the bits that I've missed. Now I always miss something. Now the tank itself is a 25mm tank. I thought I'd let you know that. So the pros, and we'll start off with the tank. I'm loving the uh, safety mechanism on it and the filling. Obviously, you just press them two, pops up, spins around. Nice big port in there for you to fill it all up on. There you go, fits back in, nice and easy. I'll make sure it's pushed on. Now, it's not too shabby flavour. Not too shabby flavour either. I've had better and I've had a lot worse. Um, plenty of cloudage on it, and I'm quite liking it. 2.5 mil um, capacity. I think it, there is a little bit more in there than that, but it's a 2.5 mil capacity. We should have a 2 mil tank, obviously, with a TPD, but they're saying it's a 2.5. Not bad airflow. does make a little bit of noise, but we'll get onto that with the cons. But yeah, in, in all, I, I quite like the tank. Now, let's talk about the mod itself. It fits in your hand really, really nice. I like the feel of it. It does look like Smock and Segeli have had babies and come up with that. That's what it, you sort of, it does remind you Smockesh. And maybe a bit of Sigeli mixed in with it. But yeah, it's a very simple mod to use. All the menus are very simple to use. All self-explanatory. I'm liking the screen. I think you might have a little bit of trouble maybe in the sunlight with it. But you can turn the brightness up. Like I said, simple to use. Feels nice in the hand. You could say it looks a little bit cheap. But to me, I, th I don't mind it. I really like it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Nice clicky buttons. Simple, easy to use menus. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. Now, and I'm quite liking the gimmick as well of the Bluetooth. You can find your phone and you can find your mod. It is a gimmick, but I, I quite like it. I'm into that sort of gadgety thing. So, yeah, for me, I quite like it. Let's go to the cons. Now, let's go to the con cons with the tank. Now, I feel that that mechanism eventually is going to go. I really do think it's going to go. And also what I found is it hasn't got any O-rings on the top of it. And when you push it down, if you don't quite get it right, you do leave a gap. And if you've not been paying attention, it does leak. Now, all tanks leak. But I've just got this feeling that that mechanism eventually is going to stop pushing up and you're going to have a little bit of problems with it. Um, and like I said, if you don't quite get it down properly, you get a little bit of leakage. Um, it does fit baby beast coils in it. So that's another, another pro to it as well. So if you're not quite happy with the, the flavour that you're getting from this, uh, or if you don't like the homage and you want a bit more battery life, obviously the, the Baby Beast, you can get a few different coils with it. Um, the airflow, listen to this. Now I have my, my airflow way open, but it makes some right racket. It's like you're on some sort of kid's toy. And that is, is, is a con to it. It makes a right racket, the tank itself. If you adjust the, the, the actual airflow to it. it. 
does cut it down a little bit, but if you do have it fully open, you're on sort of, some sort of gazoo. Now the mod itself, it's, it's not a bad mod, but the app for the Bluetooth, for the, especially for the Android, I can't really talk very much about the iPhone because I haven't used it on the iPhone, but I have spoken to a number of people who have used it on the iPhone and it's not been too bad at all. But I have had little problems with the Android. First of all, finding it, and then sometimes if, you, if it's next to it, it thinks it's out of range when it isn't out of range. Um, and sometimes the app crashes. But I do know the people at VapeSoul are going to be updating the app constantly to get this to work properly. Um, also, another little thing as well that they asked me to let you know. If you put the batteries in upside down on this model, um, it does auto fire. But the models that are coming out now, they've sorted that all out and, and it, it won't be auto firing if you put the batteries in the wrong way. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad little mod altogether. Let's let's put it all together into something. It's a kit. I'm loving the tank. You can fit baby beast coils in it. Alright, it makes a bit of a racket if you've got the airflow way open. Um, it hasn't got the O-rings, could leak a little bit, but apart from that, you're not getting bad flavour and you're not getting bad cloudage out of it. The mod itself looks smocky, segelly, um, but it's not that badly well, it's not badly made. It does feel, it doesn't rattle or anything like that. So yeah, all in all, I don't think it's, it's a, a bad kit at all, and it's got the Bluetooth gimmick. If you're into your gadgets, you're going to like it. Well, this has been another review by Little Bro. All the details for Vape Soul will be down in the descriptions. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you've liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe button just in the corner. Get to that new magic number. And there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing.